ladies and gentlemen, this is your three judges going this bout in ringside. Sus tres jueces, Roberto Rodriguez, Juan Carlos Pulido y Diego Alejo. And your referee in charge of the action, su referee para este combate, Rodrigo Flores. Y es presentado a ustedes por, being brought to you by Toscano Boxing Promotions, Bodisteca Boxing Promotions in association with Global Sports Streaming, BIB the best in boxing. Introducing to you first, the fighter standing in the blue corner. He wears black trunks with yellow trim. He officially weighs in 182 pounds. No canto azul, vestindo su H amarelo e preto, con un peso oficial de 182 libras. He stands with a professional record of two victory, of two professional bouts. One victory, one defeat, and one of those victories coming by the fast way of knockout. En dos combates profesionales, una victoria, una derrota, y una victoria por nocaut. Damas y caballeros, recibamos como se merece a la leyenda brasileña y mundial de las artes marciales mixtas, ladies and gentlemen, introducing the Brazilian and worldwide legend of MMA, señoras y señores, presentando a la leyenda brasileña y mundial do MMA. Do Curitiba, Paraná, Brasil. Anderson, the spider. And his opponent across the ring, standing at the red corner. He wears green camouflage. He officially weighs in 184 pounds. Y su rival en la esquina roja, vistiendo pantaloncillo camuflaje verde. Con un peso oficial de 184 libras. In 57 professional bouts, he stands with a record of 52 victories, 5 defeats, and 34 of those victories coming by the fast way of knockout. Presenta un record de 52 victorias, 5 derrotas, y 34 de esas victorias por la vía del knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the former WBC middleweight champion of the world. Damas y caballeros, con ustedes. El ex campeón mundial peso medio del CMB, puro Culiacán, Sinaloa, México, Julio César Chávez Jr. You hear almost equal applause for both fighters here. And now giving here. out the final instructions. Interesting. Your referee's charge, Rodrigo Flores, oh, eight rounds. No. Ocho no, no, no. Santos. Come on, come on. Chris, let's talk about the keys to victory. What do these guys need to do, speaking Chavez first, to win this fight? All right, we only have eight rounds. Chavez is used to fighting 10 or 12 round distances. He needs to start fast. He doesn't want Anderson Silva to get comfortable. Two, he has to be a bully. They get a small ring. He can be physical. Fight on the inside, get to that body, which is number three. Body, body, body. Hit that body every chance you get. To, uh, Silva has a very long torso. For keys to victory for Anderson Silva, get your bearings. Know where you are. Get your feet underneath you. Get some respect early. You've got, to, you've got to sit down on those punches in boxing. He's got to be crafty. He's a very slick guy. He's got that great upper body head movement that he can fire right off of. And also, he's got to stay long. He's tall. He's long. He's got broad shoulders. He doesn't want to be in the inside with, with uh, Chavez Jr. Well, everyone's wondering what's going to happen in this fight here tonight. A lot of the boxing experts say oh, that no. there's no way oh, no. Anderson Silva can compete oh, with man. someone on the caliber. The level of Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. Some people saying Chavez didn't take it as seriously as he might if he was facing a, a more formidable boxing opponent. But they both look like they're in shape and they're ready to go. And, and they both look intense here as they touch gloves and they get it underway as the lights come up in the ring for our co-main event. An eight-rounder between Julio Cesar Chavez in the camo shorts. Anderson the Spider Silva in the black and yellow, as he's known for. Silva dancing around the ring, circling. Silva southpaw always can be tricky. It's all about that front foot when you're fighting a southpaw, right, Chris? Yeah, you're going to see that battle of that front foot. You want to keep your lead foot on the outside, whether you're a southpaw or an orthodox fighter. Keep them within your striking position, which is between your legs. You see the size difference. Silva is a big man, again, fought in the UFC often against full-size 205ers and was able to handle them and handle the power in four-ounce gloves quite well. So we'll see if uh, a natural 168er 
And Julio Cesar Chavez, even fighting down at 160, can, can hurt him with the bigger gloves. Nice two, three, kind of kind of feeling out with the punches. Big body shot, as you mentioned, needs to be done by Chavez. Anderson moving very well right now. I'm, I'm impressed with his, his ability to maintain a boxing stance, move laterally, and his hands are in great position. I don't know if it's just because they're bigger guys, but man, do these gloves look small on these yeah, guys. they really do. Right? The ring looks really small, too. Yeah, there's not a lot of room to move here, which could be a disadvantage for Silva, who likes to use footwork and range here. You can see that reach advantage from Silva. He's got four-inch reach advantage over, over Junior. Um, you can see he's got very long arms, wide shoulders. Silva jumping in. A little uppercut action. Chavez moving his head pretty well, not being a stationary target. Hands in good position. Overhand left. Partially blocked there by Silva. Now you see the you know the body posture. You see Chavez. He wants it. Ooh, good oh, left hook from Chavez. Good land there. And Chavez you know, wants to be in close. He's coming forward, 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 and Silva's moving laterally. He wants to stay outside, stay long. Silva bouncing, dancing, moving hands down. Now we know Silva. You know he's being uh, measured right now, but as we've seen him in his UFC career, when you hit him kind of lights a fire he does have a chip on his shoulder he is a true fighter and when he does get hit he wants to get it back but he has to be careful against the experience boxing skills of Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. You know Silva at his best is a phenomenal counter puncher ability to pull the trigger and land hard sharp punches one of the best in UFC history yeah and he does like to lull his opponents in almost seems to be inactive at times and the next thing you know like you said bang that one big shot comes hurts his opponent and then he swarms good opening round yeah i thought it was good to see both fighters they both look in shape sharp throw the jab throw the jab and then throw the right, follow it up with the right. We got Silva's corner, imploring him. He seems so calm and collected in there, just receiving the message. No stress on his face. That's just the experience. That's just fight experience. He, yeah, he's not overtaken by the moment. Chris. No, and just like you said, Brandon, like he's one of those guys who lulls you to sleep. You know, he does it with his with his posture, with his body, with his mind, with his face. You know, he's he's very relaxed in there. Well, it's, I think it's safe to say he already did better than Ben Askren a few weeks back. <laughs> well, yeah, <laughs> ben, ben, ben Askren is a is a known as a grappler, never ever as a striker. In fact, some people say he had the worst striking ever in the UFC. And, uh, and and Anderson Silva had some of the best striking ever yes. in the UFC. So much different, much different MMA versus boxing match than we have here, guys. Also, Anderson Silva, Silva does have a box. He has boxed before professionally. Yes. He also is a kickboxer. So kickboxing is, is an, uh, someone to think of an easier transition to boxing than, than going straight from MMA or, or having a wrestling background like Ben Askren. You know what I've noticed, Chris, is Anderson, in, in that first round, he, he took that hook very well, and that yeah. was a, a big question that I had coming into this fight, is how he would take Chavez's punches. Yeah, he got hit with that, that big left hook, was lead. Um, he did take it well. It didn't It didn't seem to, to rock him all that much. Is it, can, we, can we say a fighter is a fighter is a fighter, no matter what discipline they're in? I mean, yeah. A fighter is a fighter is a fighter, sure. But, uh, uh, you know, someone who's going to be effective is a whole other, other story. Well, you were talking about, you know, the transition from, from one sport to the other. Mm -hmm. You know, Anderson Silva, if you remember, had that horrific leg injury yes. Yes. against Chris Weinman. Weinman. He exactly. could only box for two years after that. He didn't really want to use that leg. So he got a lot of boxing experience in getting back to the UFC after that injury. That's which, a phenomenal point, Brandon. Really, really uh, is indicative of what we're seeing here. I mean, he, I, looks, he looks good. Look at that. He's dancing his way. He's a little awkward, though. His footwork is awkward. Mm, good Lands a big hurt, though. Yes. But, you know, fighting the southpaw is always a little bit more difficult. You don't see him as often. It always presents issues. 
and he moves a lot. He does not become no. a, a sitting target very often. No, he always had great head movement, great upper body rhythm for an MMA guy, which which generally you don't see at, at the high level in MMA. Oh, big shots oh, coming Lord. from Silva on yeah. Chavez in the corner, but Chavez looks unfazed, kind of nice like... Nice uppercut. Chavez showing pre pretty decent defense at this nice point. Jab gets through. I'm actually surprised because uh, Junior is actually bringing action to Silva. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's pushing the pressure. He said he needed to do that, too. He said, you know, I need to bring the fight to him. Um, I, I have to I have to do that to earn respect of the of the crowd and, and to, to really prove that and I'm the better boxer here I can't I can't sit back on him I gotta pressure him and he's trying to but man Silva is a tough cookie to catch yeah, Silva's in a rhythm right now he, he was showing a few moments ago vintage Anderson Silva he, he'd like to showboat a lot in his UFC fights I think that's him finding his flow though that's just, that's that's what he needs very surprised at how good Silva looks this early in the match oh, oh. Referee giving a little warning there. Break it up. Listen to my instructions. Oh, Ooh, Silva blocks that nice. big overhand, man. Silva looking pretty smooth so far. Looking confident. Big smile at the end of the